All right, so we just finished shooting the last video, editing that last one. This is the second one, and same outfit, same time, oh same deal, same stuff. So welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and we're looking at Enlighten's other set. This is Enlighten City Hall, 1130-742 pieces. Yay, again. This is another one of those sets where it's kind of like, they've cheated you. It's only half, not even half, it's like quarter of a block. This is good for people that don't have space or you know, you can hang this on your wall, like really flush it against the wall to make it look like a picture frame. I'm gonna say it right now. This one is actually better than the Sunshine Hotel that we just reviewed. And I like the Sunshine Hotel, despite it being small. But this one is crazy with the detail in the front. Look at all the detail, you can see it. It looks really cool. It actually looks better than some of the other buildings I've seen, except it's only just the front. Such a shame, because this would have been an awesome modular building. And again, Enlighten, please make big cities. Like, get into it, it's actually pretty good. I support you guys. And I should say, thank you so much to Enlighten for sending this to me. They are awesome, so I can review more stuff for you guys from them. And I know they have some crazy military stuff out there. Thank you to the one subscriber that told me ages ago that they have a Hitler one. That's right. Should I review that? Maybe. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, the clutch power for this is actually really strong. This is really good, but I'm not gonna do it to this one because actually it's kind of modular. I'll show that to you guys in a second. Right now, let's just start on the bottom and work our way up. So on the bottom here, we have this little garden on both sides, little plants, and they're kind of flushed up really close to the wall, so you will kind of like press against it. There's no door, it's just an open hallway. I wish they had a door there, minor thing. But again, look at the brick and look at the tiling here. Dude, that's awesome. Like I thought that was really cool. So on the second floor here, you got a couple microphones and this is like an area for your president or your senator to walk through here and say a few words and let people know what's going on in the world today. But I like this thing, this block. This block is crazy. It's like a little lion. And you got this little spotlight here and a couple awnings here. So one thing I want to mention is right there above the windows, the awning, like above the awning, this little thing right here. That is so cool. I've never seen that before. Those are minifigure feats for like part of the structure. That is so good. And this is where it gets really interesting. I love this upper floor. The flags, again, no stickers. Yes, printed. You got this printed flag. It says city on it. I'm pretty sure it says city. And probably my favorite part about the set is the horseman. The golden horseman on the city hall. Dear, the horse looks better than you. Why you son of a- Seriously, no, this is really cool. Look, it's got so much detail on the guy and the knight with the sword. I love that. It's not a word, not like a, you know, you guys know I love 3D printed words, but this is really awesome. Like this actually makes up for the whole set. And again, you got a really nice design and a nice look to the actual top here. It's really, really cool. I really like it so much. So I did mention that this is modular, so the top piece can come off, but it is kind of useless. Like I wish it would just have mounted onto there. Uh, you really don't need to have it on, but there you go. Put this back on. So we're gonna flip this around and just work our way from the bottom to the top. On the bottom here, you've got the entranceway. It looks like a little water cooler and a couple chairs here. So you can get nervous drinking water to meet the senator. I don't know. And you got like a secretary office thing here. And then you got the second floor here. But you got a little seat and a little tile here with the booklet. It looks like a Bible. It's like a Middle Eastern language on the book. It's not even in English. Probably the designers, you know? So on the side of the first floor and the second floor, you have a couple of drawers here. The curtains here on the second floor look very familiar. They're like the other sets that we've done before. Nothing special about them. You got a little air conditioner unit here on the second floor as well. And then finally up here, you just got like a nothing here. Empty attic. You can make it your own. Challenging, there's not much to put up here. Now I wanted to mention one thing real quick. You recognize this. This is from Lego. And you know, the other brands are really similar. Those are the pieces that you take the Lego pieces out or the brick pieces off the plate. Some of them are not that great. This one's not that good. It kind of breaks. Uh, the China brands have a giraffe as well. This is from the Midi City from Eitsan He is the green one. And then you have this one from Oxford Block, which is a little bit better. It's a little bit more secure. But check this one out. This one is from Enlighten. This is crazy. This is probably my favorite one. It's got like little grooves in there for your thumb. And this thing really pries them out good. Like so thick, it doesn't bend, it doesn't break. It's probably the best looking thing ever from Enlighten. This thing is crazy looking. Let's just check out what else got, comes with it. We got a vehicle as well. Here's the vehicle, yeah, the car. This car is not as nice as the Sunshine Hotel. They traded that around, like maybe this one goes, the Sunshine Hotel one comes with this one. I think I would like the car a little bit better, but it's okay. You still get a nice little old school vintage 
looking car. Very nice, I like it. Nothing wrong with it. Yeah, I like the scale on the side. This doesn't look like a cheap car. I don't know what I'm talking about, but some of the brick cards that look cheap, but this one actually looks pretty okay, like pretty good. But it's time to name our minifigures. So here we go. The first person we have is, I guess, the mayor of the town or the president. And that is Shadow Master because you're always first. So there you go. That's you looking nice and dope. Next up, we got the lady with the mic, Lani Dulian, Dulan, Lani, Lanai, Lanai Dulan. I hope I'm saying your name right, but there you are, reporter for the city hall. Pretty cool. Then we got another lady there. Maybe she's the one running for mayor, or she's the one that's running for Senate, or she's going to be the next president. And that is Amanda Croha. So you're from Facebook and your red pocket is on the way. I'm sorry it was so delayed. I'm sorry it came back to me, but you're getting even more little gifts now. So thank you so much for tuning in. And finally, we got this guy with a crazy camera. Actually, the camera's pretty awesome. I really like the camera on this. And that is Eraser Mice Labs. Good luck with your Nikon camera, but this camera looks even better. So there you guys are, all ready to shoot this political party. So there it is, this is Enlightened City Hall. It's really small, but you know, you can buy it on BrickMeUpScotty.com and you can buy like maybe three or four of these and make it your own, make it bigger. And you know, I love it. This is actually really fantastic. And stay tuned for more Enlightened. They'll be sending you more stuff. I promise I'll get you more stuff. So the more you like, the more you subscribe, the more you comment, the bigger we can grow together as a community and I can bring you guys more stuff and keep on going with this. So until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Brick me up. You know, I should show the clutch power of this one too. Oh look, I just knocked off the... You know, I should definitely show the clutch power of this as well. Just look at you! Oh, there it's coming off. You're so silly! No, this one is... Oh, where did the sword go? What are you trying to accomplish? The door is stuck. Why are you in my life? Did I put the door the wrong way? I think I put the door the wrong way. Or maybe this is supposed to go open on the inside. Ay, ay, ay! I don't know, I just followed the booklet. Maybe I got that wrong. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support for this channel. Please subscribe on Scott's face. And watch some videos over here. And maybe some other ones you haven't seen over here. Keep it coming, guys.